Hey everyone, this is Adriana Colada Hudak, White Collar Criminal Defense Counsel for Green Spoon Martyr. And again, we are here on a White Collar Wednesdays, and today we're going to talk about grand jury subpoenas. One of the most common matters I handle are responses to federal grand jury subpoenas. Whether you're an individual or a business, responding and receiving to a grand jury subpoena can be panic inducing, but it doesn't have to be. In part one of this webisode, I will share tips on how to respond if you as an individual are served with a grand jury subpoena. In part two, I'll talk about what to do if a business is the one that's served. So let's get to it. First, some background. What is a grand jury subpoena? Grand juries are comprised of individuals summoned by the government to investigate whether a crime is being committed. And their authority can be very broad. They can investigate merely on suspicion or just to assure that the law is not being violated. And they don't even need probable cause. If they suspect the crime is being committed, they can some, the government can summon a grand jury to investigate. Now, if you receive a subpoena, it's because the grand jury believes you have information that is relevant to that investigation. And you have to respond to the subpoena. One of the biggest questions I get is, do I have to respond? Can I ignore it? And the question and the answer is always you need to respond don't set it aside and hope that it goes away because it is not going to ignoring it is the worst thing you can do and can even subject you to criminal penalties such as contempt of court or perhaps obstruction of justice this is the time you want to get legal counsel involved asap your lawyer should first contact the prosecutor who issued the subpoena to determine what is your role in that case whether the government sees you as a target, a victim, a witness, is vital to how your lawyer is going to process and advise you along this journey. And how you respond to a subpoena depends on the type of subpoena you receive. If you receive a subpoena that says, ad testificatum, that means that you are being called to personally testify before the grand jury in person. If the subpoena is says, ducis tecum, that means that the grand jury is seeking documents or other information, and you don't necessarily have to appear in person if you produce that information. Now, if you receive a subpoena ducis tecum, that subpoena is going to include a list of the numerous things that the government is seeking from you. Your lawyer will help you put a response to that subpoena together and should help you gather and present the documents to the government. Now, your lawyer may also be able to prevent you from having to appear in person or produce certain information, depending on the circumstances of the case and what your role in the investigation actually is. But note that avoidance with a, that avoiding compliance altogether is no easy feat. Grand jury subpoenas are subject to few limitations, but they can be challenged if compliance would be something like unreasonable or oppressive, if the information the grand jury seeks is irrelevant, or if a privilege is implicated, like your, first, like your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent, your attorney-client privilege, or some other legal privilege down the line. Also, if the subpoena has been issued to harass or intimidate you, that can also be grounds to, set the, to quash the subpoena or have it set aside. Your lawyer should carefully review the information requested to see if any of those challenges apply. Now, if you do have to testify, note that your attorney will not be allowed to be in the grand jury room with you during your testimony. You can, however, leave the room as often as necessary to consult with your counsel who will likely be waiting outside in a separate area. And you will also be able to invoke your Fifth Amendment rights to avoid answering any questions that may potentially lead to information that could implicate you in a criminal case. Now, the most important thing if you are in fact summoned to testify in person before a grand jury, you have to be 100% honest in your testimony. Otherwise, you may find yourself on the wrong end of a criminal indictment or obstruction of justice for perjury or more. So remember, if you receive a grand jury subpoena, make sure you consult with counsel ASAP. Don't leave it to sit, don't ignore it. It's the worst thing you could do. And don't forget, more importantly, or perhaps most importantly, to check out part two of this webisode, Corporate Responses to Grand Jury Subpoenas. This is Adriana Kayata-Hudak for Brief Spoon Martyr, and I'll see you next time.